What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Firewatch could easily have found itself falling into the bracket of a walking simulator. But the subtle underlying story of a human struggle adds depth, and this creates a piece of narrative that should be experienced by everyone. San Francisco-based developer Campo Santo, formed of the guys who created Telltale's The Walking Dead, have taken their collective experience in choice-driven narrative and applied it to a much more personal and at times There's lonesome experience. Following the opening of the game, which expertly creates the backstory of your own character, you're thrust into a beautiful national park where you've taken a dead-end job making sure people aren't starting fires that could potentially be devastating. You know, to the surrounding mother nature. Whilst that premise might seem underwhelming, it's the narrative string taken with the buddy on the other end of your walkie-talkie that creates the game's intrigue. We've become so used to narrative-driven games taking the form of Telltale-esque TV dramas that throwing such engaging writing into a first-person interactive story was always going to be a gamble. And boy did it pay off. The game isn't without its hiccups and during a roughly 5 hour playthrough I crashed to desktop twice, but this by no means took anything away from the experience. There's also the occasional frame lag in places, but again, it's nothing to take you out of this immersive world, something that has been expertly crafted by the folks at Campo Santo. The art style and stunning visuals are something to be admired, and even the intricate sound design of rustling grassy areas and smouldering flames is crisp and beautiful in full surround sound. Hey, Henry. As the game crawls yeah. through at a reasonable uh. pace, and you bear down on the end of it, there is quite a realisation that the narrative choices that you've made really have made a difference. But the game never lets you forget that there's seemingly only going to be one outcome. The payoff as you finish your time with Firewatch isn't what's memorable, and it's not what's supposed to be. The part that's supposed to be memorable was the personal journey that you've been taken on to get there. And in that aspect, this is a game which truly delivers.